Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to play some Pioneer here with Michael B. I thought it was called Pioneer. She can 100% hear you. Yeah, usually she can. Usually if she's responding, it's because she's hearing me and you're not conveying literally everything I'm saying because that would be a lot of work and probably obnoxious. What did you say about Peener? What did I say? I said... Oh, I said Pioneer Peener. and you yeah. said Peener? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway... I like how you have two mustaches now. <laughs> yeah, I love my top mustache get a little thinner. We're playing Pioneer. This is a pretty sweet. Uh, this is like you don't know that yet. It could suck. This is this looks like a pretty sweet white life gain deck. Uh, we'll call it a wife gain deck. That's white and life combined, so it's wife gain. Okay. <laughs> you guys couldn't see his eyes, but he looked real uncomfortable. Um, it was like that meme, you know. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you here. It's four healers, hawks, one legions landing, four glorybound initiate, four hushbringer, which I think is nice because we don't have anything that actually has an enters the battlefield trigger, except nope. for Archangel Avacyn. But that's pretty much it. And this is a cast trigger on Bruna, so I think we'd be fine. Uh, four lone rider, which I love. A 1-1 one, one first strike lifelink, big deal, but if you gain three life, it turns into a 4-4 four, four first strike trample lifelink. Uh, one selfless spirit, which is an interesting one of... One Smuggler's Copter, one Legion's Landing, one Shalai, one Lyra, one Archangel of Thune. Like, all these one ofs are very, are very interesting. Um, the Bruna makes sense because you can just you just want one. It's cost seven, and then you like it to get any angel back. But maybe you want more than one. That seems good. Let's take it easy. Always watching. Also awesome. non creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one, and have Vigilance. Four Resplendent Angel, which should definitely be able to trigger pretty frequently. And 24 lands. We have one Mage Ring Network, which is a uh, ready number of counters to add just mana. It's just basically like the... Um, what were the lands from Time Spiral? What were those called? Did they have like a name? Storage Lands. Yeah, it's just basically yeah, a colorless land. storage land. And then we have Castle Ardenvale, which makes a 1-1, one, one, which is a very nice addition. We could possibly play more Castle Ardenvales. I don't know why people are just playing like one of the castles in a lot of the decks, because the fact that they're not legendary, like, if you have two or three castles as long as you have one planes it's really fine i don't think this format's rife with like land destruction uh and if it is like they're just gonna it doesn't matter they can hit your planes anyway probably two westvale abbeys that's the mana base and then a cyborg of two brave the elements deafening silence of as a two of giant killer as a two of dawn of hope as a one of rest in peace as a two of cast out as a three of one gideon and two pitting meals this has zero interaction with oko type things yeah so, who cares? Frank, these are very interesting. Mike B, yawn. Wow. Look at all the, yeah, look at all these cool cards. Mike B's like, oh, I need some donuts in my body. <laughs> you know how we interact with Oko? We attack them. We're going to go 5-5 five, five Angel, they're going to go Oko, okay, make it a 3-3, three, three. and then we're going to go 6-6 six, six Angel, and they're like, alright, make it a 3-3. Three, three. Then we're going to go 7-7 seven, seven Angel, they're going to be like, you know the drill. I'm going to be like, Dang. you know what's happening here, buddy. Not everyone plays Oko. Okay. Stop. I'm still thinking of what, what song would I add to a superhero movie. Decks. What about, um... It makes me want to watch all the superhero movies and feel like... Because there's definitely... I feel like there's definitely been moments in superhero movies. Oh, before before we started recording, uh, my friend Shikris asked, Frank, if you could put a song into a superhero movie that isn't already in a superhero movie, what would it be and which movie? And I'm like, that's a great question. What and about the KKK took my baby away? I don't know where you'd put that, that classic Ramon song in, uh, in, a, in a movie. The KKK took my baby away. They took her away. away to well, do you think that song is about a literal baby? Or did he lose, like, the love of his life to the KKK? Who knows? I, I, no one. That's why I'm asking you. What I'm about? asking you for your opinion. I'm not asking, like, hey, Mike, tell me the factual background of the KKK by, by, by Ramones. What about oh, police truck? Police truck? Mm -hmm. What is, is that? What is that? You know about police truck? <laughs> you don't know about police truck? Yeah, you definitely know police truck. I do. I if you heard it. You would one hundred percent know it. Police truck. Yeah. What the fuck? Look it up. Do I want to? Yeah. 
<laughs> what? What am I looking up here, man? You definitely heard this song before. I'm gonna monetize now. Yeah, don't. There's also on Tony Hawk. That's where I know it from. Then. I love that we're going. They're gonna go Hollow Fountain and play like they're gonna play some busted Esper control deck, and we're gonna be like, uh, Healer's Hawk. Yeah, it was in Tony Hawk's the original. Wow, Chris knows the exact Tony Hawk that the songs are in. I, I mean, dude, I know. I love some Tony Hawk. But I don't. I can't say that I know the individual like versions of the game that the that the songs were in. That's pretty impressive. Eh. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two, you could play as Spider Man. You know why don't they make a Tony Hawk Pro Skater for like the modern age? Why isn't there any updates? I think with the with the popularity of that franchise and like the fact that Tony Hawk is still like an active dude of an active member of the skating community. They have, they are bad, but but way bad? Do you mean like, we don't mean like we mean like recent, recent, not like you know, not five, like six, six years, years ago, ago, right? Exactly. Like I'm talking about, like you could definitely make a PS4, or PS5, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and have it actually crush. Is it called Skate? They oh, did, by like, EA? two years ago, was off. Skate is a is not a Tony Hawk thing. No, it's I know like it's a, not, it's but a good game. But have you played it? Yeah, you haven't played. Where did you play it? I played at my cousin's house. He's got a Nintendo. He's got the Nintendo, and I was I was uh, playing it at his house. He's got the Nintendo, like that. I think I counter my always watching. I think I kill my my hockey boy, my Tony Hawk. Wow, got him! Come on, that was fucking good, dude. I'm just waiting for our door to randomly get knocked on for these donuts. So am I. He's gonna be like, donut delivery. Got got a donut delivery for a couple of chunks in here. <laughs> I swear I didn't order these. Pro Skater Five came out in 2015. That's interesting. And it wasn't good. That's so sad. How do you fuck up this franchise? How do you not just slap it with new paint and just yeah? If you literally just made the same one, dude, it'd be fine. It's still like 35 minutes till donuts. Okay, that's fine. They got making them. They making them fresh. <laughs> just kidding. They're not. It. Oh, Metacritic. Oh, God. I'm a cringe. 32%? Yikes. That's a yikes for That's me, dog. Bad. Do I run out this Gisela? Of course I do. Yeah, it's like one of these joeys. That's a big... What? They just resolved? I guess they're going to have Supreme Verdict. Wow. You just score 1.5. Oof. Indeed. The game itself isn't so bad. Online mode is horrendous. The old Tony Hawk Pro Skater games allowed you to join a lobby and play with people who wanted. Oh, that's interesting. I gave it a, I gave it, I gave it a 1 out of 10 because it reminded what the industry is still capable of selling us. This is only the extreme example of what is being pumped out every month. I can't help but think about endless concourses of talented young men and women slaving away to make these worthless... Po like, okay, buddy. Take it easy. They didn't do anything. I don't understand what's happening. The Michael B took my baby. 28 negative, 5 mix, 0 positive. Jeez. That's not... That's not good. Are they just taking... Se I'm fascinated. I really don't want to play another creature because, like... I know they're always watching. I should have played a pre-combat then. Probably. Gamma set, what's going on? Dude, Thwok was talking so much shit about you while you weren't here. It's unbelievable. I still play it though. Despite not playing it correctly. Not one level that I reached in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 felt memorable or made me want to play more. It's truly a sad day in video game history when a series like this can just become a shadow of its former self. Jeez. <sighs> But can't they just go back to the roots and like just be like, okay, we messed up, so no oh, one noticed. There's a potato in my. That's actually pretty funny. Oh, never stop. Stop making the Tony Hawk games in 2007. Maybe that's the problem. I guess we'll just play this. He talks a lot of shit for man using my Disney Plus subscription. That's messed up.
the literal top review for this game is 65 percent from a, from a critic the gaming landscape has changed a lot since the series yeah this is what we were afraid of from the series heyday but this title is stuck in a no man's land between not being good enough to replicate the past nor ambitious enough to move the franchise forward yikes that is a yikes from me dog And by the way, Santa Claus isn't real. What's the point of being alive anymore anyway? Am I missing any any cool any cool commentary in the chat? I just read it. I read a comment, Michael. It's not the same as Michael, listen. Okay. Are you I'm listening. Aggressively. You are listening aggressively. That's very true. Do you think our donuts are here yet? We said 35 minutes. How long has it been? I don't. I lost track of time since my. <laughs> we haven't even my, finished one match. Since my aneurysm. Since my concussion. How do I know this is the same match, man? I don't know. Okay, you got Absorb, it. Absorb, eh? Absorbo. <laughs> That's not even funny. Don't laugh at Absorbo. Well, yeah, I thought it was funny because you shut up. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Thanks, Donna. Thanks for. It was just weird. I don't know. Absorbo? Yeah. Have you ever seen The Amazing Absorbo? He was a uh, clown. He lived in the clownscape. The clownscape? That's where all the clowns... <laughs> yeah, you know, the fucking clownscape. The clown escape. Don't, don't repeat it like you don't understand. Fetch Frain is brain medicine. Ooh. Frick Thug and Thug 2 were so good. What does that mean? What's Frick Thug? Is that a thing? Oh, I think it means Tony Hawk Underground. Oh, frick Tony Hawk Underground? I think they're I think those are two separate things. You know what? It sounds like I'm joking, but Chris is like has a lot more game knowledge than me, I think. So like when he says frick thug, I literally can't tell if that's like some obscure Steam game or if he's actually referencing a game and putting frick in the front. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Don't be don't be stupid. Too late, already am. Yeah, I know. I just, I just cross my fingers for you every day, Michael. All right, well, pay your costs, man. Just do your, do your nonsense here. Brazen, bo no, raisin, oh, raisin, six, six man, huh? raisin, brand crunch. Oh wow, look at all the cards they just drew. They're going to three. Is there a white lightning bolt? A whitening bolt, if you will. Just one that there's like. Solar Lance or whatever that deals three damage to a creature. Sun Lance? Sun Lance? Yeah. Solar Lance, Sun Lance, whatever. That was my bad. I should have put calm after the... Yeah, because you were just like, Frick Thug and Thug 2. I was like, did they take the Frick out for Thug 2? <laughs> for Thug 1, they were just like, let's call it Frick Thug. And then for Thug 2, they're just like, it's we've put, we've put too much into the Thug 2 already. So let's just... Oh, God. Thug. Let's just let the Thug exist on its own. Hey, Screecher. Mm, not the same. Well, at least she doesn't make flying things. I think we all learned today that even these pro pro scatters had to grow up, and none of us none of us were very were were ever that cool. So really, it's all just downhill. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Because look, I mean, if you look at like Scatman John, look what happened to him. He he passed away even. So all the professional scatters, I think, did not did not age well. You know. Remember Scatman? Who that? I'm kidding. God. I do remember bad dudes. That was great. Wow, Frank, what happened? What? What did I do? Chris, I feel like I say so many things that you could say that about. I actually want to see a remake of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but with the original characters in the current form with addiction problems and severe depression <laughs> or bad reality TV shows. Yes, please. Yeah, Bam Margera. But wow, was Bam ever in a Tony Hawk game? I don't think maybe. maybe I don't not. think maybe. I don't think so though. This is my concern. I think this deck is. He might have been in the underground. Really I'm not strong. Sure. I didn't really play those. We If they counted this, I'm just gonna go to the next. I'm just gonna go to my next life. Yep, you did. Yeah, it. Absorb too. Pretty bad. Yes, Michael. Let's bring in all these cast outs. 
Take out these healers, Hawks, man. Take out these healers, Hawksmen. Bring in but they're like your aggro. No, they're not. They're super aggro. They are bro. not. It's one on for one. They're basically just dead. Oh, hi, Mark. Bam was in the first Tony Hawk? You no. didn't even know that? No, He's... Tony Hawk Underground. No, he said Bam was in the first one. Then he was the main character in, a, in Thug 2. Oh. He was in the first Thunder Thunderground? Thunderground? Thunderground. Thunder. Thunderground. 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 Somebody. Thunderground. Thunder. 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 Thunderground. Do you know the song? Because it's like Thundercats, but it's Thunderground instead. I don't think I played Tony Hawk Underground, I'll be honest with you. Was it good? <laughs> or, you know, whatever, don't answer. Are you talking to me? I'm, who am I fucking guess? Why, even if I'm not, like, even if I'm talking to chat, like, you can still answer, my dude. I never played Tony Hawk Underground. Oh, wow, neither of us have? No. Should we, should we find it on the old PlayStation Store and, and download it for the PS4? Thug is a work of art. Thug is my favorite. Wow, that's insane. Is it better than... Bam was in Pro Skater 3. That's crazy. Tony Hawk Underground came out 2003. Got a 9.5. Wow, I can't believe I didn't play this. It was only 16 years ago. <laughs> There's still time. There was time now. Thug 1 and 2 are very fun. It's the peak of the Frick franchise. Frick Thug! <laughs> What do you think about making this deck white black? For what? I don't know. For black cards, Michael. Saying you never got my step idea, but no rush in reading it. Did you though? <coughs> I have no emails, so I think you just made that up. It's weird that you would lie about that. Dang it! I got your email. No, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. No, I... did I? Yes, I did. Excuse me. You're Excuse like having, me. You like having an argument? Excuse yourself. me. No! Excuse me, you're being rude. <laughs> I can be rude all I want, but now you don't get any donuts. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're gonna stop me, <laughs> foolish mortal. You fool! Oh man, Cuba's tomorrow. That's gonna be legit. Yeah, I'll even wake up on time. No, you won't. But I appreciate. I the, will. I appreciate the thought. I will, man. I'll be there for Cube, Okay. If it wasn't Cube, I probably just wouldn't come at all. You know what I'm saying. I'm but sorry. What are you saying? What? Right now? No, nothing. What? Do I get a donut? Donut or donut? Q is tomorrow and a certain something is streaming. What does that mean? What the hell does that mean? What's he saying right now? And mm. a certain something is streaming? What does that mean? Something political. Oh, oh. Oh, that's exciting. Wait, what? Don't be, a, don't be an idiot, Michael. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. Fill me in. I need to know. No, Michael. You just need to, you need, you need to learn your, learn your, life something political what does that mean michael how old do you think hideo kojima is 77 he's 87 stupid oh man i was so guys look look i'll be real which is better than being fake i'm on excessive pain medicine and reliving my childhood through these sad comments is really the best thing ever <laughs> oh yeah me boy i appreciate well, for someone on excessive pain medication your typing's pretty good so yeah good job. The, the the typos have been minimal which is pretty impressive Congratulations. I think I've lost interest in this deck already because uh, we don't have anything to... I did have a scatter incident. That's true. Pro, yeah, Tony Hawk pro scatter. Is that like a... What if you... Is a pro scatter a pro shitter? Because let's sh not... Let's like just a, not go down Like, scat is shit, right? Yes. So if you're like a pro scatter, aren't you like, I'm really good at shit? Well, couldn't dude. that also mean the scatter like... -ba 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 -ba. Yes, it could. But I'm saying like, it seems I was like it's, it real, it's real easy to confuse the two. <sighs> I just hate doing things. Scat is also fast wrapping. Hmm. Well, no, we know that. That's what we're talking about. No, because skibbity bop, zibbity bop, zibbida bop. That's not rapping. But that's what he's referring to, right? Like I don't know. I don't Jesus, think so. Just shut up. 
Why don't you shut up? <laughs> it's fair. This guy's only got this little sheep. That's it. <laughs> yeah, man. He's only got the little sheep. Wait, wasn't, wasn't T I a sub already? I'm struggling. <laughs> Well, it's all gone downhill. It's like the the, the medicine started to kick in. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the, the I'm struggling boys just kill. Well, I'm struggling boys. It's like, someone, it's like someone in the ocean. And they're like, it's okay. I can swim. I can swim. Okay, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> it's like. They're failing, but they're they're flailing and failing, but they're doing it with the same, like the same uh, inflection as when they were doing just fine. They're like, you know, I, I think I'm about to die here. So, uh, anybody, if you guys want to help me out, I really appreciate it. How to make this deck unable to lose? Add green, replace white with black, and replace all cards with hydras and corpse jack menace. Wow, wow that seems much better, actually. Are you going to put this guy on the... That's terrible. That's just terrible. Who even likes that you did that? Oh, man. Oh, man. You really got me with the... I'm struggling, boys. <laughs> I have sub already? Oh, God. Guys, I'm going I'm to tap out for a little bit. I am who I am. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, we are having a good time, so don't you worry, don't you worry at all. Oh man, that was the second like really good laugh I had tonight. Jesus. Oh, I think I think someone gifted you a sub. Hodge Gulashi just gifted you a sub because he's literally the man. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack with. Come on. Exert that gentleman because I want to make sure if they like Azorius Charm this, we still get to flip this guy into an Eldrazi Nightmare Death. Thunder, 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 scats. <laughs> that sounds bad. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. You going to the bathroom, man? You got the thunder scats? Um, yeah, you might have actually been a sub through Prime, but it, those do expire, so you might have just been in your lapse period. Do you do you ever have thunder scats, my dude? On occasion. Gross. Remember that time you were in the, <laughs> that that thing happened? Oh, I remember. <laughs> the old Georgia mudslide. I think it's an Alabama mudslide. Well, you know, it's a Florida mudslide that time. <laughs> Here we go. Just killed them all. Yeah, you knew it was gonna happen. <sighs> Michael B. Scatological jokes. Love them. They're good. That's quality content. Remember that time you thunder scat your lady friend's commode? I do. I do remember the thunder scat. Thunder, 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 scat. It was a nightmare, and I was pretty sure our relationship was over at that moment. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Alright, maybe our deck's doing better now. Do we just run this resplendent angel out and, and make a little angel? Make a little angel. Oh, right now. Stupid absorb. Oh, got him. Did, did we? Yeah, because it flipped our guy. Buddy, we're at 35 life. Isn't there... Why don't we play Feldar Guardian in this deck? Is that legal? That's not no, legal. No, it's Zendikar. Damn it. That would have been so sick. I'm looking up cards that have to do with life total. No, oh, damn it. I guess I should look up the Pioneer legal ones. Did I do that? You know, remember Urkel from, uh... From Sturkles? Urkel from Skirkles, yeah. It's like Mork from Ork. Nice.
Hey, man, I don't mean to bother you, but can you send me an angel? When? Right now. No, they're backed up. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair. A Johnny that exiles everything at 35 life? Which one is that? I don't see an Ajani that does that nonsense. Oh, if you have at least 15 life more than your starting life total, exile Ajani and each artifact and creature your opponent controls. That's interesting. Our opponent's not doing anything, I noticed. Did you notice that? Yeah, they're just going to wrath us. Or die. Exerting, huh? Well, yeah, because we deal five this way, and then we can play Resplendent Angel and make an angel. So it kind of gives them like a... A better Supreme Verdict? Thunderscat! 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 Oh, no! <laughs> That's good. The no at the end is really... Is really where you want to be. If you build around it more, you can try for a janky one with happily. That's true. But also, like... Ugh. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, that's like a completely different deck as well, so. Okie dokie. Eat little smokies. Eat little smokies? Yeah. You should probably cycle these cast outs. I don't think they're ever going to have any targets for that. Maybe you're right. I mean, they had Teferi and Elspeth last game, which is really what I'm, like, concerned with, but... They're going to slam an Elspeth. And they're going to just kill this guy, I guess. Hey, look, it's a cast out target. My man. My man. What? You heard me. I don't think I did, though. I think you did. I don't really listen to you as much as you think I listen to you, Moochel. You listen to everything I say. Yeah, but it's not very good. Oh, dang it, didn't realize I got gifted a sub. Yeah, well, guess what? You did. Got him. Did you see that? Did you see that powerful got him? I can't see words, Frank. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Right. Yeah. Think about it. It's a lot of lands, man. I'm really not thrilled with the amount of lands that we're seeing here. I'm here to entertain and spread the word of Hydras. That's true. And I appreciate you for that. Oh. What? Never mind. It's got flash. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know that? It, yes, you do. You know it has flash. I don't know what you're talking here about. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Oof, look at it. Look at it. She's beautiful. <laughs> gorgeous. She's gorgeous. <clears throat> Goodbye, little lone rider. He's a lonely rider. Game three. Can I get my dude back? I'd like to get my dude. No, we don't have to kill the Elspeth. I mean, we do, just not with the cast out. I can just kill them with my creature. That is five attack? Yep. It's the 52 to zero, pretty close. It was a close game, folks. Rest in peace, meh, Hushbringers, meh. Dawn of Hope seems better than that, Hushbringer. Deafening Silence, you know, more one non-creature spell turn, no. no. Nah. Brave the Elements, meh. It's okay. It stops like a... Literally charm. just like a Jory, yeah, literally just a Zori's Charm, though. What's the ability to see donuts? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Right in your face, my dude. Send me a mic B. Vision. <laughs> Touche. Well played, Kerwit. Well played. Cinnabon Thieves. Hmm. Cinnabon Bon, Cinnabon Bon. You know that Ricky Martin song, Cinnabon Bon? No. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Shut up. Dang it. You told I me not to tell you to do a thing, works. and then I did it. Yeah, I know. Fuck, you got wrecked. Pretty much. 
I don't know how I'll ever recover. Why don't you go back to the pineapple under the sea that you live in? That's not a thing. Excuse me? Why are they playing that? That's weird. What do you name? We didn't show any activated abilities. I guess we showed Resplendent Angel, but playing a Spyglass just for Resplendent Angel seems pretty loose. Especially considering it's still just a creature that I can attack. Right, and I can still I still make the Angel even if I don't activate it if I just gain five, so it's not like it's... Oh my the long arm of the law. Ding, 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 ding. You know that song? This might be the dehydrated SpongeBob, maybe. Hey man, let me ask you something. No. There's gonna be a jailbreak. Do you know where it's gonna be? Uh maybe somewhere in the town, but who's to say? What are they choosing here? Dawn of Hope. Alright. What do you mean that is? It's the card in my it's the one card in my hand, Michael. How do you know to name that? Because you get to look at their hand with Spyglass. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't understand that song. The jailbreak has to take place at the jail, right? <laughs> this is the meme. That's why we're always talking about it. Because we're like, oh, this is a fucking... How do, oh, Finny, how do you find these, dude? Cigarettes all day. Smoking dude. in... What are you doing all day in jail? And he's like just smoking cigarettes all day. Smoking dude. in the boys' room. Is that what you did? You smoked in the boys' room? Yeah. Never in like the girls' room? Oh, there's really only the boys' room in prison. There's, no, there's only one... There's... There's only one bathroom in prison? Yeah. One toilet, one seat. One beer. <laughs> that's, that's very good. These are mine. I've been Oh, cuz they're cuz you clipped them. That makes total sense actually. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> one beer. Oh man, you gave me the perfect pause there, my dude. The donut transport technician is approaching the donut factory. Oh right. man. <laughs> Who talks like this? That's fantastic. It's apropos because alcohol is made in prison toilets. That's true. Oh, are they gonna get rid of this? Uh okay. Buh, okay. Got a little hunty. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak somewhere in the town. But where? Yeah, look that elbow. He did. He 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 booped my elbow with his snoot. I call him old snooty boopikins sometimes when I'm feeling Good. It's a little sure known fact that all alcohol comes from jail toilets. Yeah, that's actually the prison labor that people are trying to fight in, uh, you know. Society. In society, yeah. Society. That is the lyric, right? Tonight there's going to be a jailbreak somewhere in the town. Yes. Tonight there's going to be a jailbreak somewhere in this town. What? It's going to be at the fucking jail. <laughs> oh, Thin Lizzy. It doesn't seem like it's that hard to figure out, you know? Like, I don't know. It could be anywhere, guys. They could have their jailbreak at the barbecue restaurant. I, I There's a McDonald's. I feel like that's a good place for it. <sighs> Not sure if I said it before, but cats can survive a drop from any height. It's true. You can drop off the Empire State Building. They'll be fine. Okay, don't. No. No, don't. <laughs> Cats always land on their feet, man. No. They've tested it before. From what height, Michael? From the Empire State Building. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Cats have nine lives, man. It just takes no one's one. testing that. You don't know that. Mm, I do. You don't live at the Empire State Building. I do. Oh, you do? I'm sorry, my mistake then. Grizzly That's Adams right. did have a beard. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you land on your feet if you die, Michael. Doesn't it, though? One beer. 
they're like, you know what? I gotta play something here. I'm gonna play my Jace. He's the architect of thought. Uh, I think we're just always watching. Okay. Oh my god, there's a jailbreak at the old folks' home. Always watching makes this five, which makes it four, which means you can always take out the Jace, but they don't get to activate it next turn. I am afraid they're going to put a card in and search for his contest, so I kind of want to play Pithing Needle as well. I think it's more important to... Actually, we could just... No, I want to draw the card, too. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to trust there's a land on top. I believe in the heart of the cards. Fool. Excuse me? Fool! That was not the heart of the cards. I'm pretty sure if a cat landed its feet after falling from the Empire Stabling, its leg would break, then the secondary impact of the body would kill it. Man, Kerwit, your intellect just knows no bounds. It's a 72 out of 4. What? Huh? What? What? What's a 72 out of 4? What is it? I don't know. You tell me. I don't understand. You tell me, smart guy. Tell me about your jailbreak in the town. You know there's going to be one tonight, right? Yeah, but who's to say where? <laughs> Somewhere, man. <sighs> Somewhere, Michael. How do we get rid of Jace here? Did you ever know that your name is Michael B? I had no idea. <laughs> oh, you're going to put it on top. That's pretty cool, my dude. We can cycle. What does that do? Get I'd, us the angel back. I'd rather just use this. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> wow. Pithing Needle on Tarifi. Teferi, hero of Dom and Noodles. More like the zero of Dom and Noodles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The zero of Dom and Noodles? Mm-hmm. Hey, man, would you like to hear a fun fact? Okay. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> that is a fun fact. I had fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. Uh, arrange the cards in two piles. I'll give you one Azorius charm. Oh, new cat. Oh my god, that cat's gorgeous. What a beautiful little, little baby. Look at this. If you guys are looking on YouTube, look at this gorgeous feline. Look at this beautiful baby cat. Just what a, a Just a nice amount of chonk, too. What a, a friggin' bit. cutie. That thing is gorgeous. Is that a real cat? Is that a real, like, is that a, just a domestic cat? This looks like, looks a, like a lion. It looks like... I'm not a lion. Okay. I meant a cheetah. You think it looks like a, 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 a... It's a spotted cat, okay? Shut up. Why don't you shut up? What did they put in their hand? They put the search? I never thought of it. Hall that cat him. has nice marbling. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Koga. He's a Bengal. Koga. That's a good name. I would have named him like Jim. I'd name him Steven. <laughs> Steven the cat. Jim, what did I tell you about... Shitting on the floor. I like when animals have human names. Richard, stop it. <laughs> Richard. That's a, yeah, that's a little tomboy meme. Looks like an ocelot or something. It does look like an ocelot a little bit. Dude, can you stop talking about Metal Gear Solid for like five fucking <laughs> minutes? 
Uh, the one time I actually wasn't. <laughs> That's why it's funny. <laughs> Looks like an ocelot. Koga after the Elite Four member in Kanto, of course. Oh, interesting. Everybody knows that, stupid. He didn't know that at all. Oh, you're right. I named that cat Michael the Poor. Wow. Yeah, okay. Mike, stop. I'm going to name my next pet Mike, and it's going to be real awkward because because it's my friend Mike and then you got a little schmutz on you schmutz? yeah I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up there you go you got it that's it? yeah it was like a little piece of a feather or something a piece of a feather? that's what it looked like and you let me take it off? it was probably giving me good luck you stupid dummy <laughs> I don't know I thought it was schmutz schmutz? like the liquor? yeah chicken schmutz <laughs> chicken schmutz that's the name of my. That's what the name. Are you gonna name with this? I want to name Asconta. Oh, okay. Look, and he's he's nervous. He's like, oh shit, they're gonna. He's gonna friggin' do this thing. Snick, snick, snick. Remember that from? No, I don't remember that from Metal Gear Solid. What are the odds of that sentence ever actually being real? It's low. It's real low. Oh Jesus! Boo! The Duncan was out of donuts. Dang it. What? How do they not know that before they pick it up? So the dude went to the Dunkin' Donuts and then there's no donuts? And then they're like, well, I guess I'll just not go here. And then like he already left and he was at the place? I'm gonna be honest, man. This seems... Don't they have one blue now? Oh, that's great. As Kanta, the sunken ruina. Okay. Um, okay. If they're out of donuts, why are they even open? You know what? I hear you, buddy. They also sell coffee. Your mother sells coffee. She doesn't. But be a lot cooler if she did. Be a lot cooler if you did. That's true. Attack your face. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. Actually, let's attack this Teferi because I'm worried about... I'm worried about a detention sphere. Like, a detention sphere on Pithing Needle is pretty insane. I guess we just cast it out. I was like, do they have muffins or something? They did not. They did not. It's like, you're going to make me keep quoting the room, huh? Okay. So, like, like, it sucks that they went all the way there. And then they're like, sorry. No donuts. I'm just going to make a 1-1 a one -one at the end of the... No, I can't because it's not... <sighs> Sorry, guys. I've let you down. No, you didn't let us down. Dunkin' Donuts let us down. Buddy, you... Curry, you have never let me down, my friend. Do they have bagels? That's not the same. You're not the same. Dang it. You're just not the same, man. Haven't been the same since the incident. What does that mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> What an absolute dumb shit. They said there would be more donuts at 3 a.m.? That's random. I guess that's when they make it. <coughs> you should have been like, can you wait? Yeah, should wait till 3 a.m. No biggie. That's okay. Michael, just go to the Wawa in between these matches. I will be. He's smoking in the boys' room. He will be. Jesus, how many dig-through times are you going to play, my dude? No Nut November includes donuts, I guess. Wow. Is this our first match? Crying out loud, this match is taken forever. You guys should go watch the No Nut November music video. <laughs> Please Google No Nut November on YouTube. I imagine it'll be one of the top one of the top. Should results. be my Matt Watson. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> That's, that video is choice, my dudes. Oh lord! See, I, still, I told you, Michael. I still prefer Blonde Boys, but it's they're both pretty good. Really, I thought the second one was better. It's some, some of the certain lyrics in Blonde Boys really gets me. That I can't say on this channel. Like what? <laughs> I'm not going to say, Frank. That's the point. I did Uber Eats for a bit, and I got to a McDonald's, went through the drive-thru at 2 a.m. on a Saturday, only to find out the machine was broken, and they never got the order. That's, that seems miserable. Brutal. Okay, this is actually fine, because we get to activate Gideon, kill the Teferi, 
Oh, they still have Azorius Charm on their stupid hand, though. Young. Oh, really? You have a two mana counter spell? You have a like a quench or some bullshit? Oh, you have three mana because you have his Kanta. I didn't even see it. I got a meatball sub mm, from uh, uh, Jersey Mike's once. I should have attacked first. I think it's worth trading, but. And they literally got sauce all over like the outside of it, so it was like really hard to eat. It was super messy, and I was like, "This is disappointing." My meatballs. <laughs> We all just said it like that. Real. My meatballs. We're holding the sandwich, and you're like, my meatballs. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly, this is exactly how it went down. Ah. Ah. Like that? Was that? Yeah, that's Was that about it? It's about right. Yeah. That's about right. That's about right for my meatballs. All right, I definitely think this deck can be adjusted. I think a Johnny's Pride Mate seems pretty good. I don't think I care about the always watching. Like, giving your angels plus one, plus one is not really... I don't know, I just have more cool shit. All right, fam, I'm going to go watch some Murdoch Mysteries and pass out alone, yet strangely warm from the afterglow of my painkillers until I wake up the same way but cold on the inside and out. Good night, Mikes. Also, please never do the big mouth again. I felt something, and I most definitely shouldn't feel anything right now. I am who I am. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. And uh, <laughs> I'm glad you were hanging out. I appreciate you. Michael. Michael, listen. We're at 28. They also have to win in the next five minutes, and I don't know how they do that with this grindy-ass dick. I'm going to search. I'm going to search. Oh, God. What are they doing? Are they going to Sphinx his revelation here? Jesus. Why do you need that many cards? That just seems greedy. Deep down, we are all in Canada. He's right. It's true. Not me, buddy. American no, Pure. No, even you, stupid. American Pure. American Pure? Yeah. That sounds like a chewing tobacco. It does, actually. Y'all have any American Pure? That's the only brand I chew. I'm just telling you, I like American Pure. I think it's, I think it's the best. Makes my mouth feel good. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You know about the mouth feel. I no longer like this conversation. American Pure, buddy. I was born. I was born in American Pure, and I'll fucking die in American Pure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Michael B, you know what I'm saying, Mike? I don't, I don't know what you're saying. American Pure. Also, this Elspeth will probably kill us pretty fast. You know what, Michael? Shut the hell up. Unless you want to be beaten within an inch of your life. I can get rid of it. Oh, they're tapped out, so we can go get rid of this detention sphere. Get back. Pithing Needle, shut down both of your permanents. They have 6,000 6, cards in hand. Oh, jeez. Let's attack first. <laughs> I'm going to attack Elspeth because I really don't think we're winning this game via uh, hitting your face. Does this guy have Vigilance? No. Okay. And we're going to draw a card here. That's fascinating. <clears throat> Michael B. He lives in the tree and he likes the sea give me my piddling needles her name Elspeth sun's champion pow and then we're gonna name what it's either yeah I guess it's gotta be Ascanta it's the only thing that's Ascanta the sunken ruin beautiful beautiful <clears throat> alright pass the turn I guess you doing okay it's also the model that KK Jesus is that true? Oh shit, that sounds terrible. <laughs> who who came who first said it? Did you first say it? Yeah. That's interesting that you would just say the KK model, Michael. I said it because you said I was Canadian. I said I'm American Pure. 
But did you know it was the KKK? No, I had no idea. Is that true? I don't know if that's even true that that's what they say. Jesus, another Supreme verdict, huh? I don't even know if that's what they say. Nick's fleece ram? Who cares about any of these things? I don't think that's true. I'm looking it up right now. I don't see any connection. Thank you. Pilot Evan, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Definitely sounds like a tobacco <clears throat> thing. Well, you know what they say about tobacco, Michael. I haven't seen a KKK commercial in a while, so I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, but if you had, I order you some tiny cinnamon cokes. They will get there Thursday. What? That sounds delicious. Cinnamon coke? What? Oh, shoot, dude. That sounds legit. I'm going to be drinking that all day. I thought you were off soda. Um, We make exceptions sometimes. Okay. So I don't think she'll mind if I have, like, a cinnamon, a sweet cinnamon Coke. Sweet cinnamon Coke. Bum, bum, bum. Always watching every day. I mean... Do I even attack? Has anyone said that this is Magic the Gathering, the card game, you know, for you, the YouTubes? What? Magic the Gathering, the card game, trading card game by Richard Garfield. Strategy games, card games, Magic the Card Game oh, is that Gathering. For the algorithm? Yeah, it's just a fucking meme we do. Oh, God, they're just killing everything? Oh, I guess they're both going on the top. All right, I'm just going to play this. Now it's your turn. And now, like, we're both in top deck mode, and you have, you have the two minutes and 37 seconds to win this game? You I don't no see it happening, my dude. Are you going to Sphinx's Rev here for, like, a bunch? All right, well. How many detention series do you think they got in their deck? Probably four. I hope it's better than the Pepsi version? Oh, dang. I like, I just like flavored sodas like that. I think they're, I think they're cute and delicious. You know, I've always relied on Snopes just because I was always under the blind assumption that it is a reliable source of information, but how are Snopes artists supposed to be immune from scrutiny of being biased and leaning? And who's Snopes? The Snopes. I think Snopes is just fine, my friend. <clears throat> I think Wesley Snopes is in charge. Oh god, it's me, isn't it? F6, I have nothing to do. <clears throat> I don't want to, like... I don't want to die today. Michael B. That's good. That's good. Attack the Elspeth and see what happens when she gets knocked on her bottom. Like, I, I'm getting rid of the same reason we got rid of the Teferi. Like, if they don't have a win condition, like, if they manage to get rid of Pithing Needle, it's real bad for us if they have just an Elspeth sitting there. So we might as well just get rid of these. You know, if they had Elspeth, I don't think they'd win in time. Okay, we'll sack this guy. Yeah, but you don't know. I think I do. You do not know. <clears throat> My name's Jerome, and I'm 37. <laughs> Is that a thing? <sighs> Michael B. lives on Saturn. I live on Saturn. Look at this. Like, we played this grindy-ass deck. It's like, it took us 54 minutes to play the first round. At least I think. Wait, this is only our first game? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, How it's the third game. It's the first round, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, this is round one, right? Like, Someone we didn't blow my brains out. I will, I'll blow your brains out for you. <laughs> Just make sure to catch it on stream. Buddy? That might be against terms of service, though. You'd be a daisy if you do. You know what that's from? I get a lot of my news from Homeless Bill in the front of my store. He told me yesterday Saddam Hussein is still alive and living in Baltimore. Hmm. Homeless Bill's got some shit going on. He's he's in the now, man. He yeah. Homeless Bill sounds like he is really familiar. 
getting rid of your sheep, idiot. Wow, that's a two. That's a three for for one. You got forty five seconds, buddy. Oh, your sheep's not gonna do it. <laughs> sheep number two. Is there? A c they have fourteen cards, cards left? that could even do it. In forty two seconds, probably not. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and be like, mm, I don't think so, my dude. You just literally have six for the rest of the game. Yeah, but I don't want to go crazy because maybe they play like Aetherling and attack us in two swings or something, you know. Aetherling's going to do 30 damage in two swings? Uh, I guess it's not plus one plus oh, it's plus one negative one, right? So 7, I think it'll still take five turns, which I think they still don't have. So. Sunny D, the Bernie Fruit. Whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to get my angel on. Do, 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 15 do. seconds. <clears throat> nah, I'll just make an angel. Right now. Alright, 8 seconds. Your dumb deck doesn't even have enough win conditions to win. We got one Teferi, one Elspeth. That's it? <laughs> Those are your win conditions? Get out of here. I just outlifed you, you son of a biscuit. Alright, let's get these healer's hawks out. But they're good with your primates that you're planning to Primates? Add. Primates, yeah. I don't think always watching is good. I think it's just too cute. Um, I do think pride mate's good with healer's hawk. One Teferi, one Elspeth, one be here. Okay, we did. The game did stop. What else we had in Mutual? I like one more Bruna, to be quite honest. Like, being able to return an angel or a human. Like, we always have that. Is this guy a human on the right side? And this is a human, and this is an angel, and this is an angel. Angel, 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 angel. So it's literally every creature in our deck, except for these two, are angel or humans. Like, one Smuggler's Copter is real weird, too. Like, I, I think it's good, but, like, if you're just going to play one, like, why? <laughs> Cut a land. I don't think you need to play 24. I think you're. I think you're being greedy right now. I'm always greedy. One selfless spirit, too. That's good. I think it's good, but I think it should be in the sideboard. It's good against Day of Judgment. I also don't think Deathling Silence is a card we care about. There's no Storm in this format. Stu stu studio. I think that's Gideon. So we got 60 cards now. One Legion's Landing, kind of random. I like it a lot, but I don't think it's... I don't know why we don't have another Castle Ardenvale. Like, it's just... It's just a great thing to do with our mana, and we don't... There's no penalty for it. <coughs> okay. Bulldog, it's a reanimate with a fat butt that flies. What is? What are you saying? Oh, Bruna, for sure. Plus, like, there's so many times where you have that much mana. Um, Castle Ardenvale. Is that going to talk to you like that, Michael? No. Shut up when I'm talking to you. Actually, maybe we want three. It's Two's good. Let's try two. There's no reason though. It's not legendary. It's just a land. Like it's just a land that does that makes dudes. Give me okay. tell me the downside. I'll donate ten bucks if you flip the two angels into the double. Damn it. I, I, I mean that's my goal, obviously. The deck is illegal. They're under arrest. Good. I want to be under arrest. I want to go to prison. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. We should have like one soul's attendant or something. Soul's attendant? The one that gains your life. That ain't even legal, man. There's gotta be one of those that's legal, Look, right? No. Oh yeah? Soul Warden. How about Soul Warden? Soul way. Soul, soul me the way. Oh, no. Okay. That's the only ones. All right. Green one, too. But that one's probably not legal, and it's also wrong. Sounds color. like a lifelink. It's going to be a lot of results. I'm just going to go to Scryfall. That seems easier, because it's also going to show me cards I don't... Which was the Ajani you guys mentioned? Don't like if you're at 35, you exile their crap. No, the one that makes two twos. A Johnny Strength of the Bride created 2 2 White Cat Sojourner, whenever. Yeah, actually, that seems. It's negative 2 to do that. Eh. You gain life yield under creatures you control, plus the number of planeswalkers you control. The plus 1 on that Johnny is trash. 
Kind of okay in our deck. Really? Yeah. Really? I mean, it's okay. It's not great. I don't think I'll play it. It's but. okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we're just going to look up white cards here. Exactly these colors. White. I'm going to select Pioneer. I thought I did. I don't know why it unselected that. Oh, it also unselected text. Life total. Yeah, I'll just use life. And legal and pioneer. 200, not terrible. And I can pretty much... A Johnny adversary of Tymons is also pretty good. You can negative two to him, negative two him to make... Negative to him to make uh, uh, Johnny pride me. We don't have a lot of two drops, though, is the problem. I don't know if Hushbringer is great in the main deck. That's fine. It's kind of mediocre. It's a one, two for two. Like, I guess it's good against, <clears throat> like... I don't even know what it's good against. You know what? I don't even know what it's good Some against. Some stuff. There. Got him. Because, like, if you look at, like... I don't know, man. Creatures in here. What do we got? Fae of Wishes. Doesn't doesn't work against that. Uh, Gear Hulk. Dragons. It works against Nicol Bolas and Gear Hulk. Sure. Mm -hmm. Dragonlord Silumgar. I don't know if that's going to be a concern. Like, let's look at the Collected Company deck. Uh, no. No. Not really. Like, none of these cards that's really great against. Siege Rhino's fine, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna, like, care if they don't get their Lightning Helix. Got him. I keep feeling like there's donuts coming, but then I'm like, wait, the donuts are well, not coming. I forgot. They're coming from me. <laughs> okay, take it easy. Let's not get too excited around. What about Bishop of Wings? Whenever an angel enters the battlefield, you gain four life. When an angel control dies, create a 1-1. One, one. Oh, Bishop seems amazing in this deck. Why are we not playing Bishop over, like, Hushbringer? You feel me, bro? I feel you. We got a thing. Bulamog, one, two, three, four, five. Super Fritz will give you ten bucks if you meld bits. <laughs> I appreciate you, my dude. All right, so we're going to go to zero. Are you ready for this? Dang, dang, dang. One, four. Yes. One, two, three, four. So the text again is... If an angel, when an angel, uh, I'll bring it up here so you guys can see. When an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. Whenever an angel you control dies, create a 1 1 spirit. That seems pretty decent. I agree. I'm going to take Hushbringers out. Yeah. I took one of these guys out. But wait, what did we take out for Johnny's Pride, mate? We took out Hushbringer and what else? Uh, a bunch of random crap. Oh, like the one selfless. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take Smuggler's Copter out. Um. Keep going down this list. I'm going to see if there's any more angels. I actually that we like should... Copter. Why don't we just play two Copters? I could see that. I just... Oh, what about Crested Sun Mare? At the beginning of your end step, if you gained life this turn, create a 5-5 five, five white horse. Oh, man. Crested Sun Mare is so fun. More like Crested Fun it's Mare. It's though, right? It's like six. It's five mana. Safara? That actually seems okay. Charming Prince could be good. That might even be better than... We tap four untapped creatures of flying. That seems good. I don't see why we don't have one of these. Maybe maybe one Bruna can go. Yeah, that seems sweet. Um, do we consider Nykthos? I can see like two Nykthos. Uh, I think it's better than Majoring Network, right? Sure. <laughs> you Okay. I just don't think we have enough pips for it ever to be relevant. I mean, as long as you have three pips, you're you're generating mana. Well, three pips, you're breaking even. No, two pips, you break even. You have to pay two. No, you're right. Yeah, it's three. <sighs> three breaks even. Four pips, and you're it's doing it. Pips, man. Plus, we don't even have that many heavy requirements. M m mints. We don't have like a wait. Felder Guardian. It's Felder Sovereign is legal in this format. Are you sure? Yeah, because it was in battle for Zendikar. Oh, it was reprinted. Yeah. Oh, then we should definitely be playing that. Yeah, it was in, yeah, it was in, uh, look, it was in Battle for Zendikar and Zendikar. It was in both Zendikars. Oh, okay. What? It oh, yeah. like 40 life, but that doesn't seem impossible. We just play two. It's a cat beast, man. What do you want? Or we can play one. Alternate wing con. I think one's probably fine. Dawn of Hope, we have a Dawn of Hope in the sideboard. I don't know if we need multiples. 
What's another thing that's good at gaining life? I'd like to see more cheap angels. What's like the cheapest angel we can get? <coughs> Gideon Blackblade actually could be good. It gives lifelink to a creature. Not bad. Like giving this guy just lifelink or giving like even your yeah, resplendent like angel lifelink. Let's play that. Let's try let's try like one of those guys. That's or maybe all we... two. Is Healer Hawk just bad now? No, you just synergize real well with your your pride bait. I guess. I can see cutting one though. We don't have to play four. We could play three. Mm. Or Shave Land. You make you putting the cat in the deck. Well, the cat's good. Like the cat's just a cool dude. Two getting black blades. So many what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen angels is a good amount. Yeah, it's decent. We could play three of those guys. Oh, also we gain more life if like we trigger this as well. Sure. Play three bishops? Yeah, we don't have to play four. I guess. What is a Johnny's welcome to? I remember. Or we could cut one Lone Rider. I mean, Lone Rider is kind of awkward sometimes. I think Lone Rider's good. Well, we gotta make a cut somewhere. Well, I'm not there yet, okay? Okay? Okay, man? Okay. What okay. about Linden, the steadfast queen? Whenever a white creature you control attacks, you gain a life? Isn't that, that just good. better than Healer's Hawk? I mean, it's three mana versus one mana. Right, but it's every creature, right? So if I attack with two creatures, I'm gaining two life. It, a Johnny's Pride Mate just triggers itself automatically before damage is even dealt. Okay. It's just nice to have something to drop down before your Pride Mate. I don't think I care about that. Yeah, but like it, it, it means we have these in our deck. Which I don't think is great. I think Angel of Vitality is actually pretty decent. Actually, that's pretty good. And it is an angel. Sure. Okay, now we really need to cut some things. Maybe we do cut the I don't know if you just jam four there. That seems like a lot. But, like, they stack. So if you gain four, then it's like five, six, seven. How is Charming Prince good with Bishop Wings? Exile creature owner turns. Oh, because you can blink an angel? It also triggers, uh. Pride main. Really? Yeah, I don't think we're attacking. Well, maybe like... It's a very good aggressive uh, Like It's very good in this deck. Fine, Michael. God, I hate you so much. I think it's going to be like a 5-6 on our deck. It's going to be like a 5-6? 5-6? Yeah. A Johnny's Pride Mate? Okay, maybe a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> How's he getting that extra toughness, man? From my imagination. A world of my imagination. I could see cutting Lone Rider for Charming Prince. It's just a 4-4 four, four if it flips, though. Yeah. But you have to gain 3 life, which isn't nothing. I guess we have a lot of ways to trigger I mean, you say we should probably want to curve. Like, this is a curve. We get a bunch of 2 drops, 3 drops, 4, <clears> 5, <throat> 1, 6, 2, 7. I want, I want one more Felidar Guardian, too. Is that greedy? That's pretty greedy. I don't know if I like Safara actually, because we took out a bunch of Flyers. And I don't really want to tap, like, a Resplendent 4 of these for, like, the Safara. I think we can cut that. Okay. You think two of these is greedy, you said? It's fine if you cut the seven drop. You don't think you cut cut Glory Bond? I could see that. No, that guy seems good. I think he's all right. We can't keep, like, we need to be somewhat aggressive. Like, this deck is not going to win the late game versus control. Yeah, it is. That guy's not going to stick around, man. Bitch, please. Like, we have to be somewhat aggressive for this deck to work. If we dartle too hard in the early game, we're just going to get crushed. Yeah, but I think we actually are more aggressive now. We've added Gideons. We've taken out one one. I'm just saying you don't, but but you don't want to cut any reload drops. Like cutting Glorybringer is like that makes your worst. Plus he he has Life Link, right? So he's good. No, he doesn't have Life Link. He you have to exert him to get the Life Link. Oh sure, that's fine though. I think we can cut one. Sure. Maybe cut one Bishop. Sure. Sarah Ascendant is not legal. That'd be good. Also, this guy is worse without Always Watching. Always Watching is a great combo with this guy because it gives him Vigilance. Sure. What is Dauntless Body? No, Dauntless Bodyguard doesn't do anything. If the card doesn't gain life or, like, contribute to some sort of synergy, I don't think it's that great. Like, you can name Felidar Sovereign, but I don't know if that's nah, great. I don't like it. Also, if you have 24 or more life, this is just bonkers. I don't think I want to go Bishop. You really want to go Bishop into Angel. 
Is the burner combo too cute? Is the what? The no, not at all. This isn't even a combo. Like, no, because this isn't even a combo. This is great on its own. When you cast this, you just get to return an angel or a human from your graveyard. Oh, uh, yeah, true. And then, like, this is just a great card. Both of, the, both of them are great on their own. We just need two cuts. I think if we can find two cuts, I think we're just going to jam it. I think we can cut one bishop. We do have two brave elements in the sideboard array. I don't think we cut the bishop. I think it's just really good. It also means if they wipe the board and we have, like, two angels out, we get two on ones. Like, I'd say Lone Rider's our weakest card right now. I can see cutting one Lone Rider and maybe like one Angel. Sure. All right, let's try it like that. Cut the seven drops? I don't think. There's only one seven. In... Yeah, I don't like that. It's a world of fear. I'm going to go get us some donuts. Before we even play this match. All right, we'll play the match. It's, a, it's open 24 hours, man. You can do it before Outer Worlds. But my donut time, it's getting late. Well, no, I just mean I don't know if we're playing Outer Worlds tonight. There we are. We still got to go through this whole gauntlet. Dude, it's, it's tomorrow's Wednesday. When are we going to play it? I gotta, it's got to be up tomorrow, bro. Wait, we don't have one for Wednesday? No, we had one for Monday. Right? You want to check. You might be right. Because we played... No, because we, we played the one for Monday on Sunday because we had to. Then the next day when I came home, I'm like, hey, you want to play more Outer Worlds? You're like, sure. So you should have one for Wednesday. Do we? Hold on. In my world of pure migration. What else you got? Bishop's got to be real cheap, right? There's no way Bishop is worth anything whatsoever. One's answer is chanting out a world. <laughs> I just want to play it, man. Well, I do too, but you also want to stream tomorrow too, and you know, so. Yes. Yeah, so what? That means I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wake up at one. So you know. I don't want to go to bed too late. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Just Mike like. is better at managing Frank's life than his own. Oh, I don't know about that, buddy. They long to be Michael B. Felidar. Mike B, bring me some donuts. I am at. What does that even mean? Where are you at? I thought it was the hospital. I'll ship you some. Ship them. Ship them. Uh, how much is Gideon Blackblade, do you think? That's what speed is for, Michael. Stop uh, being a pussy. Nope, wow. That ain't happening. Yeah, let me just do some speed, a little meth, maybe. You are kind of a little bitch. Wow. Is tomorrow cube? Yes, Kerbert. Tomorrow is cube. It is cubes day, my dude. Ever heard of cocaine? It'll keep the stream going. Dear God. I don't know. Cocaine's pretty expensive What's last wrong time I checked. This? What's, What's wrong, wrong with this chat, chat, my dude? I do crack. Okay. Yes, in Longwood, Florida. Where's Longwood? Is that close? We're in Clearwater. How close is Longwood? It is Longwood, my dudes. What is this video? What about cycle lands? Pseudo one drops. Can you not tap? Okay, that's. I think that's up. Nah, I don't like lands coming to play tapped. What about wall land? So playing cycle lands and pseudo one drops. Cycle lands? What cycle lands? I don't even know what cycle lands you're talking about. Aren't they legal? No, those are modern horizons. What about like the deserts? Oh, those are sh those aren't one drops though, because they're because they're deserts. Oh, they're not. One minute a cycle? No, the deserts cost two minute a cycle. Then they would just hmm. be strictly better, almost strictly better. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, getting, all right, go get your donuts then, my dude. God, just a donut eating piece of shit. I'm just blonde boys doing what blonde boys do. It is November. I wish it was still September. <laughs> Give me an icy. An icy? Yeah. An icy wiener. <laughs> what does that even mean? It's from Futurama. Is it an icy wiener? Yeah. Icy wiener. No, I don't think so, man. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Am I also your dude? Yeah, Grandma. For sure. That is little grandma. 
This is nice because you can go like bishop into Linden and then just attack with the bishop, gain a life. Like, do you don't want any donuts? No, I'm good. Okay. I know you have codes for mystery boosters. What does that mean? Codes? What does that mean? What are you saying, young ram? What flavor you want? What do they got? Snap Coke. me that pick. Coke, cherry, blueberry. Coke and cherry, I guess. I see Wiener is the fake name Nibbler puts on the pizza delivery to lure fry to the cr Oh god, are you talking about... Are you talking about Jurassic Bark? Please don't. Please don't. Just like me, they long to be... Right now, in case you guys are wondering, we are uh, initiating a trade through Manatraders.com, which is a, a, a sweet subscription service where you can borrow uh, physical paper magic cards or magic online digital cards. And uh, they have a bunch of different, some different subscription options that you guys can check out. And if you use the link and promo code in the description below, you can get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. So be sure to check that out. They have an awesome service, and I have been using them quite a bit to uh you know to play these pioneer decks where has mike gone to get donuts the wawa most likely no 100 percent the wawa he's just going to wawa the numbers frank codes what are you saying a young ram oh man I feel like this deck changed completely. Which is kind of nice. I feel like we made a bunch of cool changes to it. So I'm still looking up cards that we could potentially add. Resolute Archangel is pretty interesting. If it enters the battlefield, if your life total is less than your starting life total, it becomes your starting life total. <sighs> What if we had like one Sanguine Sacrament so we can go like Felidar Sovereign, end of their turn, Sanguine Sacrament to gain two times X life. MTG Fuzzy 2 Wuzzy, have a good night, buddy. Open some treasure. I, I should invent a service called Hire a Hobo in which you can pay hobos to carry out tasks for you. You know, Kerwood, you joke, but that's not a terrible idea. Sometimes Mana Traders takes a little bit longer based on the, uh, you know, how busy they are. So we're just really trying to get these Gideons and then we'll be jamming it. Everybody. <sighs> Excuse me. Let's look up Angels. Back streets, back. All right. All right, except for this tree. Guys, I want to post my undefeated list in draft where I got Cat plus Cauldron as well as Doom Foretold plus Dance. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good. And then Mana Traders opens the trade with you, gives you the cards, you submit it. Easy peasy, Japanesey. What's that from? Is this deck from your brain? This was a deck that I downloaded and then we did a bunch of changes to it after the first round. So now we're going to try it again. And we're going to play old Glendalock. That is Shawshank Redemption. I, I just saw it again recently. That is Brooks Hadlin. Did the old guy? Oh, Christ. You told me that it was Shawshank, but you didn't even know his name was Brooks Hadlin. That makes me sad. Old Brooks, you should have died in here. God. 
Shawshank Redemption is so freaking good. That is an unreal good movie. What kind of donuts should I get, guys? Only limit is what they have at Corner Market. I don't know where that is. So I would say turkey donut and probably the uh, avocado donut. I think those are probably going to be the best choices. <sighs> oh, this dance of the man's deck looks nice. Man, two eggs, a Sir Conrad, two mystical disputes. That is pretty solid. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Avocado donut. That's a lot. Yeah, with the gravy frosting. Okay, this is... Oh, that was rude. Cuts both ways. And that card is like a knife. It cuts both ways. That's some Harry Potter... Avocado donut. That is some Harry Potter... That's some Harry Potter shit. <sighs> okay, they sack that. Oh, we're just playing into Jeskai. That's cool. Just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I mean, we're definitely just attacking here. God, just guy ascendancy is also kind of a piece of crap. Also, we have no disenchant type effects <sighs> in the sideboard, so it's actually kind of hard to to interact with just guy ascendancy. They kind of just crush us, right? This is where you want the hushbringer, right? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, no, because if this is a cast trigger on an air's battlefield trigger, so that doesn't do anything. Red Velvet Donuts. That's actually solid. I, I support this. I think this is the end. My only friend of the end. Didn't I take the uh yep, that's pretty Oh we have we have cast out, I guess. That's pretty good. Pithing Needle I don't think does anything. Did I miss the donuts? I'm pretty sure I missed the donuts. Were they good? Dunkin' Donuts had no donuts. Apparently the driver got there and they were like, we'd like to get some donuts, and then there were no donuts to be had. It was a real hot mess, my dude. A mess not even not even worthy of a Wednesday, my dude. Guys, do we get to live this dream one time? I feel like it sucks for like drivers like that, because they're like, alright, I'm at the donut place, so I'm gonna get these donuts, and they're like, we don't have them, and you're like, well, I drove here for nothing, I guess. Just can't get enough. I wish I could stop yawning, guys. I apologize if that's uh, if that's ruining the content for you. So 
so five. We can nick those for six. We're one mana. We're one, one pip away from Brunaing, and then. I thought you lived in America. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Can they win next turn? They go Jeskai Ascendancy. I don't think so. I think we have to go one, two, three for four, and then five, six, and then we can make an angel. This also is a two turn clock, so. And also, if they don't kill it, we can play Bruna next turn, I guess. My last post in chat did not even get a chuck. What did you say? Man, I love to go to Cool Stuff Games, a great place to play and to buy cards. And I use Frank, I use the code FRANK5 to save money. And they look at me and ask if I'm okay since I'm just standing in the middle of the store screaming FRANK5. Yikes. You need to leave the hospital right now. Or rather, stay in there for a longer period of time. Oh, jeez. FRANK5! Yeah, if you guys go to CoolStuffInc.com, every Wednesday I have a new article that comes up, but you can also use the code FRANK5 to get 5% off. What's the big scary thing they turn into? Uh, Brizella Voice of Nightmares, which is uh, Flying First Strike Vigilance Lifelink 910. Your opponents can't cast spells with converted mana cost three or less, so it basically shuts down their entire operation. I'm scared I will never get a draft that good again. That's possible. It was very good. It was very good. It was very good. I have peaked. I mean, that's fine. If that's where you peaked, then it's like, well, you know what? We had a good run. I just can't get enough. Lady! Burger King triples down an impossible opera with three new meatless burgers? What? I mean, dude, I've had probably like 15 impossible whoppers since they started serving them. So if like my participation in the impossible whopper program is any indication, um, it seems like it's been a decent success. Get him. Get him. What? Chris, can you link me to that? That sounds incredible, dude. Michael B's back. Sweet Michael B's. That dude's singing in the trees. Welcome back to Michael B. time. I'm your host, Michael B. And today, we're living in the trees, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Chris, you're my favorite, dude. Oh my god, what are they? I bet it's a Whopper Jr. Uh, Breaking out logically, that should continue to. Yes. 
and okay when a film studio releases a hit okay hold on i'll wait till mike gets back because he's probably interested in this too I also don't frequent Burger King generally, except for I have recently, and it's a great option. Like, it's a great option to be like, oh, cool, I'll just get it. Wow, this feels so light. Look how light this is. It's mostly just ice. What is that? It's mostly just air is what you mean. I think if it was full of ice, it's a lot heavier. Okay, wait, what just happened? Oh, they dealt three to each of these? That's really sad. So nice out. Is it? It's like 63. I'm jealous. Oh, also, Linden is real good with our Nyctos. Oh, that's true. Okay, so the, the article is Burger King triples down an Impossible Whopper with three new meatless burgers. Huh? Oh, they got three new flavors? When a film study releases a hit movie, we can expect roughly a half dozen sequels and spinoffs. So, too, with fast food successes, as companies rush to give customers more of what they'll spend money on. Following the initial success of its Impossible Whopper, Burger King has now logically concluded that it should continue to, yes, and its plant-based burger offerings. According to Burger King, the chain will add three new Impossible Burgers. A Whopper Jr., an Impossible Burger, and an Impossible Cheeseburger. Oh, that's gas. I do like a good cheeseburger. So, can't you just add cheese? Whoppers are a different size. Oh, Yes, but they're not, like, saying it's three different, like, patties for each one. They're just saying, like, now it's on the menu. Okay. I was expecting, like, a rodeo. This isn't a satisfying <coughs> other I don't know how loud that was, but I bet it was probably not pleasant. I apologize. I, <laughs> I apologize. Oh, dang, this milk is dank. What? It's just milk, right? Yeah, but it's one of the premium brands. Oh, the Promised Land Dairy Natural Milk, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Hunter, as soon as I as soon as I have donuts, he's he's right here. Where else would he be? I guess I don't know. Yo, that milk is amazing. How does he know? This is the one we're talking about. This midnight chocolate. Promised land. There's a little there's a little Bessie up there. Taste the Jersey cow difference. Richer and creamier midnight chocolate whole milk unpasteurized. Okay, so you're just playing three dirtles and I have like this army of white monsters. Bessie is floating, you're right. That's true. Uh, I guess we'll just attack. Yeah, it was like, it was like three something. <clears throat> Unpasteurized too, which is interesting. So I might get AIDS from it. I'm sorry, what? Is that what you think happens with unpasteurized milk? You uh -huh. think that's the... Huh. That cow looks super judgmental. Yeah, she's like... Huh. Alright, so I think we just win. I mean, I'm no expert, but, you know, I'm kind of an expert, I guess. What does this Nyctos make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so we can go 1, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so we can make two one ones. Reasonable. What's Mike eating? Uh, a Boston cream and an apple fritter. You mean, Mike, what's Mike gorging himself on? Why is he gorging? Why, why, why isn't it gorging? Touche. Got him. That was a good last card to have. I agree with you. Um, how do we want to do it though? I guess we can just go one, two, no reason three, to add four. Eight mana. I don't really do anything for you. Well, we can activate our things, but I think as soon as we cast this, they're just probably gonna scoop. It's a nice dark chocolate. Dark, it's dark chocolate. <clears throat> it's pronounced midnight chocolate, Michael. How's Rob's mom doing? Got him. You mean mom's Rob? Yeah, if only he was here. But he was never here. Okay, so now you have two cards, no Jeskai ascendancy. Two mana, <coughs> no Jeskai ascendancy, and all your lands are tapped. Good deal. 
You got it. Oh, it's on mine now. Well, that's nice. It doesn't really do much. What can you draw here? Nothing. We have one mana. They're dead. All right. So we're 2-0 with this, with this life gain deck right now. And I'm probably just going to stop here, actually, because we're at an hour and 35 minutes. Um, I don't want to make this too much longer. What's... Oh, the only two matches? Yeah, but, like... I took a poll on Twitter recently, and I was like, hey, what's the ideal length for videos? And they were like, either less than, uh, either between an hour and a half an hour or an hour and a half. And I was like, all right, sounds good. Yeah, two rounds is rough, but like that first game took so long, and like yeah, we, it took forever. we put a lot of work into it. I think it I think the deck looks sweet. All right, we'll play one. You want to play one more? I think one more. Give him three. All right, we'll do it. We'll get him three. I'll do it. Don't say you're not gonna do it. Actually, let me move the mic up. Mic up? So they can't hear the chew. Yeah, don't let them hear the chew, Michael. <clears throat> chew Michael or chew Jeff? Oh man, this says the Mandalorian premiere revealed what the previously reported dramatic spoiler from the Star Wars universe was all about. Ooh. I'm gonna take this lid off. This is a drink that you really need to like mix up as you drink it. Nuck, nuck if you buck, am I right, Mike? Sure. Come on, man. You know about Nuck if you buck. I don't know about any of the Star Wars spoiler. You would. Paint. Can anyone just jump in this Pioneer queue? Come on. It's the hot new format. It's only 1.30 Eastern time. So all you Pacific dudes should be able to be awake, right? What's the hold up, my dudes? It is Wednesday. Do you guys not know about Wednesday? What if Rob's mom tuned into the stream? She won't. She don't even have Twitch. I checked. If you go to Rob's mom's profiles.com, it'll tell you all the profile sites that she signed up for. So, jokes on Rob's mom. Huh. She don't even have Twitch. Got her. Kerwich, do you think it's worth getting the Brio? I got the Brio for a little bit, and then I got rid of it. The what? The Brio, the Logitech Brio, it's a 4K. What didn't you like about it? I didn't, it's not that I didn't like anything about it. I thought my regular, what was the reason? Like, I, I wanted to replace my regular, oh, because this, this thing right here that lets me swivel and stuff, um, I, the, the big monitor I got wasn't letting me put the webcam, remember, you remember this, right? Right, yeah. So I got the Brio because I thought the Brio had a swivel on the bottom, which would let me curve it like this. And then it turns out I just found this, so I didn't need it. So I could just send that back and get like the 120 bucks I spent on it. And then I could just keep the like the $40, the C920 that I use now. Nerds, to have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Really appreciate you. Mike B appreciates you as well. Not sure it would do much. 4K is 4K though. Um, I mean it should be 40, but like when you lose, you get five as well, right? So like it's 35. Uh, it's it's 40 goes in and 35 gets out, and like so you're basically paying five five play points to the house. You know, it's like the rake. 
Everyone has to make the rake. Turn around, Mike B. I did. There's nothing there. Turn around again. Okay. Still nothing. Keep turning around. I, I can't do it anymore. Keep turning! <coughs> this doesn't... It's not... This doesn't taste as good today. It tastes like it's... It tastes like it's not flavored as well. Maybe they're out of... Uh, out of syrup. Do you also despise Threnovel? No, I've done like 40 Threnovel drain drafts. I think it's, I think the format's great. Maybe they are out of syrup. Ugh. You want to keep this? No. I'll keep it if you really want me to. I don't want to, but I think it's. I, I think I'll. I would like you to mulligan. I'll do it if you if you're like if you're gonna be if make I'd you really appreciate you. All right, I'll keep it. <laughs> that's that's a lot better. Let's get rid of Nick though, huh? No, no surprise. We can get rid of planes. I don't need three house. planes for anything. So Nykthos has a potential for an upside, whereas the planes doesn't really. Are you okay? Yeah, you're probably right. <coughs> the fuck's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? The fuck's wrong with you? Also, Resplendent Angel into Gideon, where Gideon gives this dude lifelink. Please keep it. Ship the planes. Done. Turn around, Michael. I think it's a fine barman on MTGO, but in Arena, it's completely unplayable. What's the difference? Uh, on Arena, the bots don't prioritize cards properly. So you have people drafting like six uh, Merfolk Secret Keepers. Mm -hmm. The ones that mill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's just utterly miserable because you're like, every round it's like, mill you four, mill you four, mill you four, mill you four, play my guy. They guide. just get all the nuts mill cards? Yeah, because the... the the bots on the don't know the yeah they don't know to take it because it doesn't it doesn't register as like a highly valuable card. Mm, that does sound lame. I went to a convenience store once and their machine was only putting out syrup, and we asked the guy if he could get one anyway. It was horrific, like overpowered. Yeah, no. <laughs> <coughs> you think? Oh, uh, <coughs> shrine of the forsaken gods. Interesting. Two drop. Two drop. Two drop. Two drop. Two. Oh, fuck. It's like so much worse. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Michael B. Michael, Michael B. Did you want Gideon? No, I think I want. Alright, so if I play Gideon, we can attack for four next turn and give something. I like this better because it's one less damage, but we gained three life. So it's a six point life swing versus a four point life swing. So that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna go with here. This was did this raise itself? I guess when I was messing with it, it, it popped up a little bit. It did a little poppy. Poppy. Elvish rejuvenator. That would be good. If I was Wizard of the Coast, I would build a machine learning algorithm that would weighted cards based off their use in winning decks in the draft leagues, but that's just me. Yeah, right. That's what I was literally thinking. <clears throat> I think it's lifelink. I don't think it's vigilance. Yeah, lifelink's just obviously better. We take one... Gideon takes one from this guy if they attack, but... Which is totally fine. Yeah, I just wish we were dealing... Gaining five instead so we can, you know... Make an angel... Make me also, I want you to keep in mind that even if we don't hit a land, we can still nick those for four and play Giselle. I just want you to know. And then turn after that, we can nick those for six and play Sovereign. So if we don't hit any other lands, we're still playing our spells. So That seems nothing goes wrong. <clears throat> well, I mean, they just played a 1-1 one, one for three. So Do they whiff? Oh, wow. They did not hit a land off that Elvish Rejuvenator? That's brutal. Hmm. The heat is on. The heat is on. Michael B. Got him. Let's do lifelink again.
If I was Waltz, I would fill it all with money and swim in it like Scrooge McDuck. That's also a solid, a solid decision. Might as well just because I would add real draft to arena. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think that <clears throat> I really don't think the bots are that bad. Like, I don't think they affect your gameplay as much as people think. And I also think the convenience of them outweighs uh, the downsides more often than not. I'm not saying every time, but more often than not. I think being able to draft a couple cards and then catch your flight and then come back to, to it, draft a couple more cards. And like, I, I just don't think it's like the end of the world. Six, we can go Pride Mate, Resplendent Angel, or Angel of <coughs> Just shut the fuck up. Wow. I think they're dead here. Yeah, it's fine. I'll waste my one. Yeah, they're they're dead. There's no way they're alive here. <sighs> Total triggs. Trigger, trigger, go. I don't know what this is. Are they going to blow up the world? It's only one red, so I'm not too scared. Ugin. Well, fuck me. That's pretty good. <clears throat> yep. That's pretty good. That's real good. Cool. I guess we play Gideon. <clears throat> That's... Cool. One, two, three, four. Luckily, they only have five lands. I guess. I actually didn't remember this guy was legal. That's that's something. I feel like I should have. Man, I thought we were doing so well. I wouldn't have overextended had I known to expect a friggin' Ugin. But yeah, do they have any any deserts? So they're not getting any zombies here. Well, they can go get deserts to trigger it, right? Oh, uh, they have to have three or more deserts. They have one. No, they have none. So they. Oh, can't. that's not a desert. No, it just looks like it just looks like a desert. I mean, they can get two two individual lands that don't aren't named this, so that they trigger Field of the Dead twice. Sure. But. I mean, the point is, we're probably not killing Ugin, and we're probably dead. So. Yeah, Ugin's a hell of a card. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Why do you do this? This? <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, man. Wow, how fucking demoralizing. Like, next turn we can we can play this, but then they still just go negative three next turn and wipe our board again. And it's just like it's not even fun playing. It's like just not even worth my fucking time. This 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 green deck is so miserable to play against in this format. Yeah, feel the dead decks are pretty brutal. <clears throat> no matter what color they are, green or white. No matter the color. I'm pretty sure it's not because they don't want to affect MTGO. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I think it's just not a priority because I think most people don't really care. The only people that care on Arena about real live human drafts are like super hyper grindy pros. You know, like people that want like that, the true draft experience. And I think, like, just your average MTG Arena player who's just playing Magic to have fun doesn't really give a shit. Like, I don't think they care. Yeah. Probably not. <clears throat> so, I also think, like, devoting the manpower and the hours uh, and taking entire teams off things to, to focus on a best-of-three, like, human draft on Arena, um, which probably won't bring in any more money. It's just going to divert... 
regular drafters to the human drafts, which is literally just an adjacent form of income, not a not an not an extra form of income. Not people aren't going to start drafting more necessarily. Um, just doesn't really make much sense. Right, it affects people indirectly if the draft experience is poor, like it is in ELD, but like, A, they can just fix that instead, or B, they can just wait till the next set, right? Like, I mean... I, I think you. I think you're. I think people are underestimating how easy it is to just implement an entirely new draft, where eight people, eight human uh, players, draft against one another, rather than the system they have now, where they just show you 15 cards, you pick one; show you 14 cards, you pick one; show you 13 cards, you pick one. That's a significantly easier system than showing eight. Uh, you know what's the word I'm looking for? Um, eight simultaneous players. <laughs> you know, different cards and then saving those cards and s sending them one to the left. Like, it's not an easy... I can't imagine it's an easy thing to just add in the middle of Arena. So, you know, I don't think, like, one one draft pro... one Like, one draft set suffering on, on MTG Arena because of the bots. I think it's probably infinitely easier to fix the bots or to just wait until the next set than it is to, like, implement an entirely new system, so... There's not even a friends list in there? That's no. weird. That's very odd. <clears throat> nobody turned the heat on, right? No, nobody turned the heat on. Are you hot? Yeah. Maybe if you didn't eat two fucking donuts and this... It's fuck 260 times 3.5. What's that? I haven't drank it all yet. You'll get there. You're right. 900 calories of milk. It's pronounced milk. No, it's not. <clears throat> Prove it. I don't have to. I all just right. know it in my heart. <laughs> I don't have to prove what I know is Also, true. I was hot before eating the donuts. <laughs> Joke's on you. It was hot before I ate my donuts. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six. Wow. So if they play another land, one, two, three, four, they'll have seven lands. They can just wipe the board, right? So I just, like, I can't even play another thing. Do you need to play another thing? I mean, I'd like to. Just pump your bro. I can't. It costs six. Oh, I thought it was five. God, typical. <sighs> I'm just going to pass here. They want to Ugin for four. So be it, I guess. Tomorrow's my last day of work before graduation. My sole task tomorrow is to not break anything. Hmm. Oh, man, Kerwit, incoming uh, Japan package. It is 12 degrees here, Mutual. I don't feel bad for you. 12 degrees? Where are you at? Cold is a little, a little much. It's, it's not a little much. It's a little too little, man. See how far I can get this. Everybody knows. How much would the chat have to donate for me to see how far I can get this this twisty tie up Michael's <clears throat> nose? I'd, I'd rather not. What if they gave you like 20 bucks? Still not. 50 bucks? Maybe. 60 bucks? Maybe. We gotta say yes or no. You gotta let me know. 70 bucks. Man, that could kill me. I ain't doing that. Really? Yeah. How's it going to kill you? It literally go into my brain. You ain't got a brain that far up. <sighs> Don't even... Are they killing a land here? This guy got reach. Kill it. he does have reach. That's what makes him good. I don't want to play this deck anymore. This is why we should have stuck it too. We were 2-0. -oh. We were doing good. And then we faced this deck. And it's just like... Well... I mean, this is a deck that you got to be prepared for. I don't want to be prepared for it. Well, we're clearly not. I actually think we have stones error removal, so we're pretty shrewd. We have what? We have we brought in cast outs, Michael. Oh. Michael, if you please. 
Why don't you live in the trees? Does the guy have vigilance too? Should have played Boros. No, he's just got reach. When you cast the spell, exile an artifact, enchantment, or land. Here we go. Sanctum of Ugin. Cast Ugin himself. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, they're going to cast a creature. So it's going to be an Ulamog, I bet. 8, 9, and then we're going to concede the game. Cool. That was a fun match. Don't... Don't enter the queue with me again, because I don't want to. I want to play against you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it right there. I still think our deck is fun. I just don't think it's good against that deck. Maybe that's, maybe that's telling. I don't know. Either way, just leave this thing up and play it. It's got a lot of life gain. It's got a lot of floaty boys. It's got some, some sweet ass creatures. And uh, it's funny because even like Brave the Elements wouldn't help there because all their creatures are colorless. Thank you guys for watching though. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore, coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday, and use promo code Frank5 to get 5% off. And you can also check out YouTube. You're watching this on YouTube. Where else can you check it out on? Where else am I at? Manatraders.com, amazing subscription service. You can get 20% off the first three months. Link and promo code in the description, so use those. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome.